Hi guys, it's Jean here. Welcome to my channel. So it's been a while since I've done a DIY video and I wanted to share with you guys my recent project. So I love creating things. I love crafting, I love arts and when I see something that I like, my alter ego comes out and it's like, I can do that. But I kind of overestimate myself and it doesn't exactly always turn out the way I expect it to. So I have this empty corner in the living room where I wanted to create a more permanent bed or like a lounge area for Coco and I came up with all these ideas so I thought I'll do something like upcycling some side tables or some cabinets um, to create a little home for him, maybe create a little tent or something like that. But at the end, I decided to keep it really simple and build some bed frames. So similar to the kids' bed ones, the one with the house frame. So I'll leave some pictures here of some that I found on Pinterest, um, something like that, because it looked pretty easy. All I had to do was really join a couple of timber um sticks together I guess and create it so by the time I actually got around buying the stuff and making it it actually turned out a little bit more complicated than I thought now mind you I love putting flat packs together I think I am pretty good at it um, but I have had no skills in woodworks or anything like that so me being me I thought you know I'll just get some of the timber for the frames and I'll get some of those little dowel jo joiners that you get in flat packs and just drill them in and Kind of connect it to create like an invisible kind of joining um, however as you see once I started doing it it actually turned out a lot harder and I didn't exactly have all the correct equipment um, so I ended up just using the good old nails and even though you can see it and stuff like that it didn't turn out too bad um, so I'll let you make the judge of that um, but yeah so I thought I'll share with you anyway even though it was kind of a fail uh, from what I had originally had in mind. It didn't exactly turn out too bad. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to get on with the video and show you what I did. So to start off, I draw a diagram just measuring out based on his bed so I know how much timber and what length to get. After I got back from Bunnings, I realised everything that I needed actually cost me $63, which probably wouldn't have been worth the time and effort, so that's a lesson learned for next time. So for the first attempt, I used a screwdriver with different types of screw heads, just so I had one that fits the dowel joiners that I also got. I also bought some adhesive glue just to hold it together to make it stronger, and some additional pieces as well, so I needed a measuring tape as well as a sketchy pen, um, just so I can mark things down. And I also bought a miter box I think that's what it's called um, only because the um, guys there couldn't cut to an angle for me so that's something I had to do myself and obviously a saw now because there's two different sizes for the length and width I just laid everything down on the floor so I know I've got the right side for the different sides and with the sketchy pen what I did was mark down where I'm going to drill the hole for the downer joints only because I'm joining three sides together and I didn't want them to clash and meet halfway so this is where it kind of turned to the worst and as I drew a hole it started burning. So I'm not sure whether I was supposed to wet the timber. Um, either way I think I had the wrong screw type because the dowel joiners didn't exactly go deep enough which meant there was a lot sticking out. So I thought it was time to move on to step B and use some adhesive glue. So plan B was to glue the corners together and once that was done, go through with a hammer and nail and just kind of whack it all together. The only problem was the glue took forever to dry and I was testing out my patience and as I was using the nail and hammering it down, it was kind of cracking the timber as well. So that was a fail. Okay, so third and final attempt. I went back to the start and I decided to use the hammer and nail again with a screwdriver and also a miter box and a saw. So I got a little innovating and I decided to use the nail to put in the screwdriver instead because the nail was long enough that you had to fit two sets of timber anyway. So I kind of used that to drill a hole because if you bang it straight away, it tends to crack the timber. So by doing this way, you're kind of drilling the nail into the timber, which causes less crack. And then once, it's got, once it goes through the other side, then you can use a hammer and hammer it down to the other side. Also I should mention by this stage, actually I should have mentioned at the start, for oh and definitely do use protection, unlike me, where I had no shoes on and no nothing and I was just whatever. So strongly recommend you have protective gear when you do this as well. Now, it doesn't look perfect, but honestly, this was probably the easier way to do it. So I should have done this from the start rather than try to be creative and all fancy and do like invisible joints and things like that. Um, but yeah, so pretty much... Do the same on all the corners to create a cube and then also a little roof as well. 
when I drilled the holes for the nails, I also made sure that they weren't centered. Um, again, like the dowel joiners, you don't want to have everything centered because you're joining three sides together. If they meet in between, then they're going to clash and you're going to find out you're going to have a lot of problems. So I kind of made sure they were kind of on the side a bit so they don't meet. For the roof, I joined it similar to the other corners, but what I did was marked out where I need to cut on an angle. And because I didn't have an electric saw, I used a saw and manually cut it to an angle. Now, this was probably the longest process, and I honestly actually took two days to do this because I took a break in between because it's just a lot of hard labor. Again, strongly recommend you use protection and wear gloves, wear feet wear and protect your eyes and your fingers as well. If you're underage, definitely do not recommend you doing this. Um, but yeah, so once everything was finally done, all I had to do was add the roof on to my frame. Finally, so this is the before pick of the little corner I have designated to Coco, and this is what it looks like with the frame. So I also did decorate it with a little name tag for him, as well as um, a bunting from Kmart, and he seems to like it. So like I said, it didn't exactly turn out as what I imagined it to be. Um, it did kind of look like an amateur work, but you know what? At the end of the day, it fits its purpose. It does what it's meant to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also make sure you subscribe to watch more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.